everyone, my name is Birdbrain and today we are talking about the stencil brush. So the stencil brush is amazing. It's one of my favorite new thing of Harmony 21. It comes from Starboard Pro, so if you already know how to use it in Starboard Pro, then um, you're just gonna learn more and how to use it in Harmony because it's a tiny bit different. So the stencil brush is basically kind of like version 2.0 of the old repaint option that you had in the brush tool by default before. It used to be an icon here, but now it's not there anymore. So it's kind of like a sub tool of its own. So if I click on the stencil brush, I'm gonna go here and in the option of the like brush <laughs> tool, I'm gonna have this little button. And if I click on it, you're gonna have overlay brush mode and repaint brush mode. Now, what do you do with it? So the repaint brush is amazing. In Storyboard Pro, it was created to kind of make shadows on top of your masks. That was <laughs> the big purpose. In Harmony, however, sky is the limit. You can use it for so many things. In that Game Grumps animation, I used it to put some detailing on my legs and hair of that cute reindeer <laughs> corn. Unicorn, you deer corn. Unicorn deer, I don't know how to call it. You tell me in the comments. Of course, you could also use a completely different layer and use a cutter to cut it on the color. This is also possible, but for some things, I do think it's easier to do it directly in the layer. So, you know, I have my line art here. I have my color art. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I do have tutorials about it that you can check in the description below for the line art and color art. Um, but yeah, I do have my different arts. So by using the repaint brush or the overlay brush, I'm able to put some detailing on my colors. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So let's say that I want to add a little detail on the tail. What you can do is just get your stencil brush and then you do have the choice to do overlay or repaint. So what is the difference between the two? So it's pretty simple. Repaint is like the old mode. So it replaces the color with a new one. So I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to click on the repaint brush. I'm going to go get a color, that beautiful green color I have here. And then I'm going to take my brush, make it a bit larger and I'm going to draw here. Like that. So it repainted my zones with that color. So when I say repaint, I really mean repaint. So it's not really on top of it. It's really repainted. Like here, I use the overlay brush to make these details. So I can remove them if I'm not satisfied. However, since I used the repaint brush on the tail, if I remove this, it just goes away. This is because the color is not put on top. It's really replacing the original vectors with the new color. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. So stencil brush, repaint brush mode with the green. It means that I'm gonna replace this color with the new one, okay? And for that reason, the repaint brush doesn't work with textured brushes. So if I take that nice hazy line texture and I try to apply it here, it's gonna be a vector. This is because, like I said, it replaces the color with a new one. And since this is a vector drawing, then it's only gonna work in vector, right? You cannot put texture on a vector. It doesn't work like that. It's physics. <laughs> if you wanna put a texture like I did, this is why you need the overlay brush. But by the way, don't worry, the repaint brush also has lots of views. I'm going to show you later, but overlay brush is where it's at for textures. So if I want to add a texture, I'm going to take the same green color just to show you. And for now, I'm going to take the solid brush again, and I'm going to do the same I did. But now, since I use the overlay brush, if I take my select tool and I select that color and I remove it, the old one is still there because it's overly, like it's on top. It's exactly like if you would have used a layer with a clipping mask in other software. So that means that since it's just using the vector shape as a mask, I can go and get a texture a brush like this one and I can just make a drawing like this and it's gonna work because it's just on top. It's using the vector, yes, but just as a mask to do the shape. So that's how I was able to have these textures. And if I don't want them, I can, I can just click and remove them like this with like the delete button. So that's mainly the difference between the two. Now I'm going to show you another trick that is very, very useful that I use all the time. How did I get this to clip but just on the blue? Because right now, if I use the overlay brush mode with my color and I try to put the texture just on like that blue hair, it's not going to work because it's going to take all the colors into account. So it works if it's just the edge of my tail or like <laughs> little butt rim or like the edge of these feet if I don't mind them being on the hooves. But what if you want to choose some colors in particular? I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to go in my colors. I'm going to go get my Dan palette. I was in a hurry for this contract. We only have a couple of days to do them. So not all my colors are named. I'm sorry. <laughs> so the hair color is named. So I'm just going to use the hair because <laughs> it's going to be easier. So what you want to do is we're going to click on the first color and then shift click on the others. And I'm going to right click. You want to protect these colors. So that means that you cannot draw on them anymore. So anything you draw will not appear because they're protected. But I do want it to appear on my hair color. So I'm gonna take my hair color, just a hair, right click again and click on protect color again so that it's nullified. So now I can indeed draw on my hair color. So I'm just gonna make a new color here to show you uh, what I mean. Gotta get a nice uh, bright blue. 
and I'm gonna go draw some textures on it. So since all the other colors are locked, it means I cannot draw on top of them. So I can only draw on my hair color. So this is what I use when I wanna do some quick little textures like this on some part of my character, but not others. And it's not more complicated than that. If I wanna change, then I just maybe relock this one and I'm gonna unlock the body color, for example. So that was the skin color. I'm gonna unlock it like this. I say lock, but I really mean protect. It's more or less the same. And then I'm gonna get my the same blue color and I'm just gonna draw here. And since I use a different color for the front and back of my body, then it's just gonna get that leg and not the other one. So that's how I do it. It's a very useful way to work and it makes some cute results. At least I think it's cute. What do you think? Tell me in the comments and I'll see you again next week for another tutorial. <laughs> Have a nice week. Bye bye.